let me start with something strange. What are the odds two comets would flank Earth doing the exact same impossible thing? One came from interstellar space, the other one came from out of nowhere. Both turned green, both erupted with the same impossible tail that points toward the sun instead of away from it. And they're positioned on opposite sides of our planet like a cosmic pincer formation. Astronomers call it a once in a generational coincidence, but when an interstellar visitor and a mystery comet synchronize their behavior down to the weak, mimicking each other's plasma signatures while bracketing Earth from both sides, coincidence starts to feel like the least likely explanation. Today we're breaking down what 3i Atlas and R2 Swan are actually doing, why their timing is so uncanny, and what it means when two comets start acting like they're following the same script. Let's get into it. If you've been following the channel, you already know 3i Atlas is one of the strangest objects we've ever tracked. It sometimes behaves like a normal comet, but at other times it shows characteristics that push right up against the boundary of what we understand. Green emissions, rogue plasma jets, a tail that sometimes points in the wrong direction. And now it's headed towards Jupiter, leaving astronomers with more questions than answers. But here's the twist. It's no longer alone. A second comet, C2025R2 Swan, has suddenly entered the spotlight. Out of nowhere, observers began reporting that Swan had developed a sunward facing tail, the exact same controversial feature that made 3i Atlas so famous. Two comets, two green bodies, two nearly simultaneous perihelion passages, and now two sunward tails pointing straight toward the sun. Magic trick, coincidence, or cosmic message? Whatever the answer, it's not boring. Before we get carried away, let us ground this in real physics. Under normal circumstances, a comet's tail points away from the sun. Radiation pressure pushes dust backward. Ionized gases flow out along the solar wind. Everything behaves exactly the way the models predict. A sunward tail is different. It's rare. It forms only when a specific combination of dust size, orbital alignment, and Earth's viewing angle line up at the same moment. In astronomy, this is sometimes called an anti-tail. But here's the important part. Swan did not have this feature a week earlier. Then it did, and it grew fast. That means we are not just seeing an optical trick. Something changed inside the comet itself. Meanwhile, 3i Atlas has been showing a similar feature for months. Two different comets undergoing the same rare structural change at nearly the same time is the kind of thing that grabs the attention of every researcher tracking solar system anomalies. And when you see the next part, you'll understand why. When you compare these two comets side by side, the similarities jump out immediately. Both have the same green glow that comes from carbon rich gases. Both have been unusually active. Jets, bursts, sudden brightening, shifting structures, Swan flared right after perihelion, and Atlas has been erupting on and off for months. It almost feels like they're reacting to the same trigger. Their timing is just as strange. Swan passed the sun in mid-September. Atlas followed in late October. And right after those close passes, both started showing the same rare tail feature that normally shocks astronomers even when it happens once, let alone twice. And they both cut across the same ecliptic plane in almost the same way. That shared geometry shaped how their dust and plasma interacted with the sun, which means both objects traveled through conditions that were surprisingly similar. Put it all together and you get a pattern that feels too coordinated to ignore. Not in an ominous way, but in the sense that whatever affects one comet seems to echo in the other. Two comets, same month, same reactions, same strange new features. And that's why people are watching this so closely. This is where things get even more interesting. When you line up the orbital diagrams for today's date, you see something that genuinely makes you pause. One comet is on one side of the Earth. The other comet is almost directly opposite. Both are near the ecliptic plane. Both are active. And both just sprouted the same anomalous tail structure. This alignment is temporary, sure. Comets move. 
But the timing is uncanny. They are in a position that some listeners have jokingly called a pincer, like a flanking maneuver around Earth. Nobody's suggesting that these objects have intentions, but visually the formation is striking. It's the kind of cosmic choreography that feels almost planned, even if we know it's not. So what could be causing all of this? There are a few ways to look at it, and each one tells a different story. One possibility is that we're simply witnessing an incredible coincidence. Two energized comets lighting up the sky at the same time, crossing the same geometry, and revealing the same tail feature. Maybe the timing is random. Another explanation focuses on what the comets are made of. If both objects are rich in the same carbon-based compounds, then it makes sense that they would respond to sunlight in nearly identical ways. Their matching green glow certainly hints in that direction. There is also the sun itself. It has been especially active and a strong burst of solar radiation hitting both objects around the same time could trigger the synchronized behavior we're seeing. Then there is the interstellar angle. Atlas came from outside our solar system entirely. So when Swan suddenly starts mimicking it, people naturally wonder whether something more unusual is at play whether both objects were influenced by the same force or event. And of course, the more speculative idea lingers in the background. The notion that plasma structures can act in ways that resemble self-organizing systems, not necessarily artificial, not necessarily alive, but something we do not fully understand. When two objects act in near unison, that possibility finds its way into the conversation. Nothing here proves anything exotic. Nothing rules it out either. And the gray area is exactly why these comets have captured so much attention. When you zoom out, universe gives you countless reasons to stay humble. Thousands of nearby stars, untold numbers of planets, entire systems that have existed long before ours. If intelligent life exists out there, it might not look like us. It might not travel like us. It might not even occupy matter like we understand it. Comets are ancient messengers from the deep past, and occasionally they behave in ways that force us to expand our imagination. Right now is one of those moments. Both comets are drifting outward now. Both are cooling. Both are still under heavy observation. But the timing, the symmetry, and the sudden emergence of matching tail structures make this moment feel less like a coincidence and more like a chapter unfolding. Is it all natural? Probably. But rare natural events are exactly what help us discover new science. Whether these comets are simply reacting to the sun, sharing composition, or hinting at something deeper, they have already succeeded in one thing. They have captured the attention of the entire planet. Two wanderers crossing the same stage, telling the same story at the same time. Whatever they are, they came here for a reason. But that's just what I think. I want to know what you think. Drop a comment below, please. And if you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. It's free for you and it means the world to us and we honestly appreciate it greatly. Be sure to check out all the links below also for other cool stuff. And remember... Always keep an open mind, but not so open your brains fall out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.